Hey guys, it's me, Derek, and this is the very first gaming video of 2018. Well, my gaming video, anyways. I haven't done one of these in almost a year, I would imagine. Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty much a year. Um, <laughs> but, let's go ahead and kind of get into it, because I have a lot to talk about. There's a whole lot of things that happen that I'm not going to be able to cover on this video. I might have to stretch this out a little bit, um, because 2016 and 17 was fuck awful and <laughs> there, I mean it wasn't all bad not everything bad happened in 2016 17 um, there has been some good things you know like Nintendo Switch and how it's now the top selling fastest console in the United States history and we've got Nintendo back bringing the big guns like Mario and Zelda and everything that they released this year it was pretty much damn good but we're not here to talk about that either we're here to talk about shit really bad shit that's happened within the last year or so because i haven't really had a chance to talk about it been kind of keeping my opinion to myself as well as the fact that i didn't really have access to everything to do this so let's go ahead and talk about it a few th just a little bit uh, in the background, you'll see a game playing around. That is Turok, Seeds of Evil on PC. Been playing the shit out of that. Those are my some of my favorite games from back in the past. Uh, if you guys had Nintendo 64 or anything like that, uh, if you have, get a chance. Hop on Steam, pick up Tur Turok 1 and 2. I think they have a bundle for $19.99. So if you get a chance, pick them up. But anyways, let's go ahead and talk about a few things. Uh, number one, we'll talk about EA. EA, EA, and EA. Um, they really, really fucked up in 2017. They really did, really did. There's, I mean, I don't even think there was a good thing that they have done. Mass Effect Andromeda was a shit show. I, I was really excited for Mass Effect Andromeda. I, I, I love the originals, I really do, and I really had no problems with number three's ending. I know a lot of people did, but Andromeda is something else. I, I don't understand how... They tarnished a perfectly good series with this one title. Bugs Galore, the story was kind of dumb. The gameplay, it, you know, it worked, it functioned, everything was fun there. But you had all these planets, um, they seemed empty. There's nothing there. And then you hear about, you know, EA pushing the game out to go ahead and get these cells, and the game was not done nowhere near done we had broken faces broken animations you name it and it just was not mass effect i mean if they would have said hey this is a new ip it still wouldn't be pretty good uh, i mean it still wouldn't be good at all uh, there wouldn't be pretty things about it i mean even on pc i i, I currently run it on the highest settings and it still runs and looks like shit for the most part. I mean, there has been some things that's been ironed out, but, you know, <laughs> it's a little bit too late for that. Um, <laughs> let's see what else EA has done that's pissed everybody off. Uh, they showed off Anthem, which Anthem was cool looking. I, I am going to have a benefit of the doubt on that game. It may be great, um, but if they go the same route they did with Star Wars Battlefront 2's uh, loot box system, then... Uh, yeah, that's not going to be a good thing to actually look forward to. And speaking of loot boxes, um, EA has pretty much brought about the year of the loot box. And I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing that. And it seems like EA has pretty much put the uh, turd in the punch bowl. So I think that's what they call it, the turd in the punch bowl. And <laughs> pretty much fucked up everything when it comes to microtransactions and loot boxes and you know a lot of games these days have loot boxes overwatch uh <laughs> call of duty you name it they have it um it looks like ea is pretty much you know kind of ruined that for a lot of people which that's a good thing ea actually did something good they actually did they fucked up loot boxes for everybody so that's a good thing that's a good thing we can take that in solace um <laughs> Because I, you know, 
I was tired of that shit. I didn't really care for it in Overwatch. It's okay. Uh, as long as it's cosmetic, I'm cool with that. But if you're doing loot boxes that have things and items that make your gameplay, you know, it affects gameplay, basically pay to win. That's what I'm saying. Try to get the words out. I can't really get the words out like I'd like to. But, you know, like I said, this is the first time I've done this in a year so. <laughs> but, uh,. EA seemed to touch everything they touched this year is just something terrible, just something terrible, and I don't know why. Um, you know, it went this way. It looked like a promising year. Um, you know, when we hear about Star Wars Battlefront 2, you know, the first game came out. You know, it was a shell of its former glory, and you're basically paying for half a game. And you had to spend 50 or $60 on a season pass. Got a lot of backlash. But, you know, I think they kind of made... They, they did a good thing. It was... Uh, they released those for free eventually. You, could, you was able to get the uh, actual season pass for free uh, on Origin and Xbox Live. And I believe PlayStation as well. This is like lit, earlier this year. You was able to get some of the map packs. Um, but they released Star Wars Battlefront 2, and they said, hey, this game is going to have all the content, this is going to be awesome, no more season passes, and then the beta came out, and pissed everyone off with this loot box thing. Well, EA said, we, we know there's a lot of backlash with the loot boxes, so we're going to make sure whenever the full release comes out, we'll fix it for you. No, 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 they didn't do that either, they totally fucked it up big time big time they made it pretty much pay to win and now everybody in on the planet earth is pissed at ea rather be politicians disney your mom your dog and your uncle they're all pissed off at ea uh, <laughs> so i'm hoping hoping that 2018 kind of clears things up for ea i hope so i doubt it but you know i hope um <laughs> Ubisoft has had a decent year. Uh, hasn't been too bad. We've seen Rainbow Six. Uh, it's back up in the charts, uh, which is surprising. It's a couple years old, and it's actually doing really good. Um, one of the best multiplayer games around. They released a new Assassin's Creed, which I have not played yet, but I've heard good things. Um, I don't know what they have fucked up. I'm sure they did somewhere. Um, <laughs> if you're watching this... Kind of let me know what they fucked up. I'm sure something they screwed up, but they actually had a decent year. Um, Nintendo had a great year. Um, Microsoft had a decent year. PlayStation had a decent year. Um, trying to think of a controversy that uh, really stands out. I can't really come up. The biggest thing is EA. Everybody knows that. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> but I, I think I might end it here because I think I'm going to make an ass of myself by not being completely prepared when I made this video. And, yeah, I, I don't want to look like an ass because I can literally not think of any terrible things. I know there were terrible things. I know there were. 2016, 2017, there was a ton of shit things, but I can't come, uh, can't think of a lot of them. Mainly it's EA. I think EA is so, so fresh on everybody's mind that, you know, <laughs> their fuck-ups kind of cover up everybody else's fuck-ups. I mean, they did that for every game that's come out from that company. Uh, Need for Speed, uh, whatever, Football, Madden, FIFA, you know that shit has it. Uh, Star Wars. Um, so I, I guess the title of this video is going to be, Hey, EA fucked up everything, but I don't remember what else got fucked in the process of being fucked. And gaming? Question mark? Ah, crap. Um, <laughs> anyway, sorry about that. I'm going to go ahead and stop while I'm ahead of myself. And maybe, just maybe, just the second part of this uh, video, which I'll try to, try to have it out by this uh, coming weekend. Um, I'm going to try to do one or two videos a week, so we'll see how that works out. And I'll try to get some more content. Um, I'm pretty sure I know there's things that got fucked up, but I can't really come to the top of my head what it is. Uh... <laughs> but we'll talk about it later. Again, I want to get you to say be sure to hit like and subscribe. Um, I'm trying new things, trying all kinds of new things, and when this kind of works out. But again, thank you guys so much for stopping by and listening to that 
really, really bad rant. Uh, <laughs> but you guys have a great day. Bye.